Tonight's 2020 report, a special day for families as they plant roots in their brand new homes. This is a big project to revitalize the neighborhood while helping families who are ready and eager for a new start. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig in Detroit when they walked into their new homes for the first time. It's a brand new day for seven families here in Detroit. Carla Alexander and her two children excited to be moving into a new place to call home. It's gorgeous, like brand new. Today, Carla and her children, along with seven other families, got the keys to their new homes here in Detroit's new Penrose Village 2, a subsidized housing development near Seven Mile and Woodward, helping families and even bringing them back together. It will feel like it did before, like real. Right now, it's like all messed up. And this house is what you really needed? Yeah, the housing was the main thing I needed. That was like the top thing, and now I have to look for employment, so. It's very big and very nice. Oh. Down the street, nine-year-old Jada Moore was an excellent host in her family's new home. She loves the kitchen, but check out her favorite part, the patio and backyard. Because it's big and I can play in it. Some of them, um, you know, are living with their other family members with all of their kids. Some of them really don't have homes. Some may be squatting in houses. Um, so it just depends on their situation and everybody's very deserving. So we're really happy. I got emotional, I cried. Katrina Andrews shed a few tears when she walked into her new home. She says the last year has been rough. It was terrible. I was staying here, staying from here and there. Um, lost my job, I got sick where I couldn't work, and it was just been hard. It's been very hard. But she's ready for a new start. It's beautiful. They, it's beautiful. I, I ain't never seen nothing like this before. And it's a block of new beginnings for all of them. I'm home. See you later. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.